Here is another tip that might provide you with an alternative for installing your fence post for a wood fence. And I usually build my fences like this to where the top 2x4 rails sit on top of the fence post. However, if I do that and the fence post rots at the bottom, I won't be able to use this next method. However, you would be if you allowed the fence post to extend beyond the top of the railing. And the reason why you might choose to do this is because when the fence post rots at the bottom, you can simply remove the concrete footing and then cut the bottom of the fence post. And you don't need to do it while it's attached to the fence. Otherwise, you won't be able to lower it into the hole so that you can reuse the old fence post. And of course, this method here will require you to disconnect it from the existing fence and might require you to install some bracing or supports to hold up both sides of the fence while you're working on reusing the old fence post. So not too difficult. And I've done this plenty of times. I usually do it when I come to a fence that I didn't build. Because like I said, I like to have the railings sit on top of the wood fence post. And will simply replace the post when I need to. However, with the price of lumber getting out of control, I might be building my next fence post with extended 4x4 posts sticking up past the top of the fencing.